In this video, we will be going over the analysis of dysphonia in speech and voice program, otherwise known as ADSV. ADSV is extremely useful in determining fundamental frequency, as it uses Kepstro analysis to determine fundamental frequency irrespective of time. This therefore allows you to extract the fundamental frequency from both running speech as well as from extremely dysphonic voices. When you first open the program, this is the window you will see. At the top left you have pull down menu buttons and directly below you will have a toolbar with many commonly used functions in the program. To review all of the functions in the toolbar, please click on the help menu to see the instructions for use. Directly below that you will have windows A through D which I will review shortly. Like many other VisiPitch modules, ADSB is a protocol driven module. Under the protocols menu, you will see a variety of protocols that will aid you in recording and analyzing speech samples. Let's begin with a sustained vowel protocol and do a new live input. You will see that a prompt opens up explaining what to do for this protocol, and in this case, it's a sustained vowel A ah for 3 to 5 seconds. Press OK to begin. Uh... Press the spacebar to stop recording. Now we will select the area of data that we'd like to analyze by holding down the shift button and clicking and dragging with the left mouse button over the data we'd like to select. The data you have selected will be denoted by the two blue bars. Now in the toolbar, click on the apply automatic data selection button and you will see the data selection be applied and the analysis be performed. In window A, you will have the original source waveform the low to high ratio of the low to high frequencies, and the capture peak prominence. In window D, you will have the spectrogram for the original source waveform. Then in window B, you will have the spectral analysis, and finally, in window C, you will have the capture analysis with the capture peak being denoted by the circle in the graph. Take note that when I move the cursor in one window, it moves across all of the other windows. This is because you are actually looking at that data for the, the exact point in time that the cursor is at on all of the graphs simultaneously. ADSV can also perform a variety of statistics about the recorded signal. These can be accessed in the toolbar by clicking on the Compute and Display New ADSV Results button. When you select this button, you will see a dialog box open up with a variety of calculated results such as the Kepstro peak prominence, the low to high spectral ratio, and the mean fundamental frequency. One important number to note here is the CSID. The CSID is a number that is calculated by the program in which it takes a variety of parameters and plugs them into a formula giving you one single number on a scale from 0 to 100, with 0 being the most normal and 100 being the most dysphonic. The CSID number has been validated in a variety of studies showing that it is strongly correlated with perceptual ratings of voice. All of the results can then be saved and printed by going to the Save As button or the Print button at the bottom of this dialog box. You can repeat this process for a variety of protocols and the results will be appended and you can save them for later use at any time. Let's do another example with the rainbow passage to show you what I mean and let's do a new live input. Again, it will open a prompt and explain what to do, and in this case, I will be reading the rainbow passage. The rainbow is a division of white light into many beautiful colors. These take the shape of a long round arch with its path high above and its two ends apparently beyond the horizon. Again, let's select the area of data we'd like to analyze by holding down the shift button and clicking and dragging with the left mouse button. Then click the Apply Automatic Data Selection button, and you will see all of the analysis be performed. Now when I click into the Compute Results button, you will see the results for the rainbow passage be appended into the results. Again, these can be saved and printed for later use after filling out all of the necessary information. If you have any additional questions, please review the instructions for use by clicking on the Help button in the toolbar.